This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting tips for a better workflow using Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll present an overview of using Kino for media management and transcoding. The product is called Kino, and it's version 1.5 on the buzz this week. We're talking with the president, and he is telling me about version 1.6, which will be shipping probably in the next three weeks, which has got some very cool features that uh, I'm also excited about. When you open it up, let's go to training media. There's my folder of training media, and it's got all these subfolders in it. And I can't see a thing. This is exactly like the Finder. I would like to be able to see the contents of a, of a folder. So I click the 360 VR folder, double click it, then let's, um, let's look at this. And there's a 360 VR folder that Alan shot some video for me. Okay, great. The problem is it's the wrong video. I want to find something different. So you've got to open up a different folder, and you've got to look for it. Instead, select the containing folder and click this button. It's called the drill-down menu, and it automatically opens every folder, every subfolder. And I'm going to show over 1,600 media clips from about 250 folders, and I can scan them all instantaneously. Even more, let's go to, um, let's go here. And let's double-click this clip. If I double-click it, not only do I have a preview of the video and the ability to skim back and forth, plus all the metadata, I can create my own metadata. I can apply ratings, and I can apply... Does this start to look familiar to both Premiere and Final Cut people? I've got titles to the clip, all this stuff, and it travels as I move the media from Kino to Premiere or Final Cut, the metadata travels with it. And even better, I can create subclips. And if I select this clip, let's go back here. If I select this clip, I can transcode it. There's a built-in transcoding engine. So I can convert it to I can convert it to ProRes, or I can convert audio files, or I can convert to DNX HD or DNX HR. I've built in. So I can select multiple clips and transcode them or create proxies or uh, whatever I need. So I've got transcoding, I've got metadata, I've got this beautiful drill down search that's just stunning in its simplicity. Click one button and it's not there. Click another button and every containing folder inside the selected folder is displayed. And the heart of it is metadata. And metadata is just this wickedly intimidating term that all it means is labels. I want to label this. I want to label it as a wide shot or dancers or Brazil or breakdancing or the name of the actors or the costumes they're wearing, whatever. This is what all this is. I can create all this. So I've got the media and I've got the metadata and that metadata is stored in a database and becomes searchable. So I can say, show me all my dance scenes, or show me all my close-ups, or show me all the shots of a guy wearing a white pair of pants, whatever I'm looking for. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting tips for a better workflow using Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.